Okay guys, it is Marcus here and I'm here with Larry and what we're going to do in this particular call is we're going to go through and Larry is going to show us a product that he is starting with. So I know that a lot of people start with a niche using trigger words and different things like that. But in this particular instance, what we're going to do is we're going to start with a product. And the product he has is somewhat of a health product. Um, I think it's like a nutrition thing. And so what we're going to do is I'm just going to give uh, Larry a couple of minutes to describe the product, describe what kind of payouts he gets, describe what kind of uh, people it helps, and different things like that. And then we'll go ahead and dive into showing him exactly how to set up a marketing funnel. So, Larry, if you're there, go ahead, take it away, and share with us your product. Okay. <clears throat> so what we, <clears throat> what we have is a product called Elite Serum. It is a product that uh, is to help remove wrinkles from underneath the eye. Mm -hmm. And the biggest benefit of this particular serum over other products that removes wrinkles under the eyes is the fact that it's applied without a syringe. Mm -hmm. You just dab a little bit of this product on your fingers and you rub it under your eyes and around your eyes. And uh, it's supposed to reduce the depth of the, the wrinkle and then uh, make it... Uh, the skin less wrinkled, as you can see here in this uh, photograph. Okay. Uh, and okay. The, uh, the payout from a commission perspective is 50% of each sale, and then uh, if the person buys additional recurring, there is a there is a percentage of that that comes back as part of the affiliate uh, payout. Okay. And what is that? Is it 50%? Mm -hmm. Is that 50% also? I believe that is, um, I'm not sure what that is, to be honest with you, Marcus. Okay. Uh, it, says, it, really, it doesn't say in, the, uh, in, this, in this information here. Okay. But the product, I the product, I believe, it costs about $59 for the first uh, purchase mm -hmm. uh, through this uh, website. Okay, and the average order is probably one... One, probably, average uh, order is probably just one. Okay. And your biggest competitor, I'm guessing, is like Botox, right? The biggest competitor? Yeah. Probably Botox, yes. Okay, got yeah, it. That's probably true. Okay. Okay, good. And now, up until now, you're basically just starting with this product, and you want to sell it. Yeah, I'm just, just, I found out about the product, mm -hmm. and uh, <clears throat> I want to go ahead and set up some type of a, a website of some sort some mm -hmm. sort to uh, drive traffic to the website and hopefully for them for people to uh, purchase this particular product through my website okay perfect let me go ahead and take control of the screen and I'm going to uh, show you exactly what I'll do and I'm going to mute you for now just so we don't get any feedback while I go through this um, and this is recorded, so if you if you need to refer back to something, either ask me in the box to uh, explain it better, um, or just wait for the replay to come out, depending on how uh, fast you pick this stuff up. So let's see here. I am going to go over to my AdWords tool. Hopefully we can get there without this thing freezing up. Okay, good. So in our AdWords tool, what I'm doing is I'm looking up wrinkle stuff, because the main problem that I see here is you're working on a $30 commission in a relatively high competitive market. Okay, so we got like $2.60. Now what this means is that if you were to pay, let's say we lowball it, right, and you're probably not going to get traffic for 2 bucks in this market, but uh, in, the, in this particular like direct targeted keywords, these ones we see here, I mean. Um, but what that would mean is that you would need to sell one out of every 15 people on your site just to break even which is pretty, pretty impossible, um, unless it's something like Botox and you're bidding on the word Botox, right? So what we want to do is we want to tackle it a different way because as we can see, like all these wrinkle creams and wrinkle stuff are pretty uh, expensive to get into. So what we want to do in this instance is we want to say, okay, we got a product. Does the product sell? Hopefully it does. We would look at the landing page. Um, do you have an example of a landing page? I 
and I'll see if I can find one as well. Okay, let's see. Elite Serum. He's got some YouTube stuff here. Okay, Elite Serum, new. Okay, so this looks like Are his... You suffering from persist this looks like his uh, landing page here, which is pretty... It's really, really out there. I mean, I'm sure it's going to convert at least 1%. Now, one thing that does freak me out here is the call number. Um, if they call an order, you're not going to get paid, and lots of people will, especially since you're going to be uh, dealing with an elderly market. Um, so what we want to do is we want to take a look at this from a different perspective. We want to take a look at it from people who want this but don't know they want it. Okay, very important. There's several things we can do here. Number one, what we would do is we would say, okay, well, what other kinds of things do people look at when it comes to wrinkles, like wrinkle around eyes, okay? We want to see, is it, in fact, competitive? We would go to Google, type it in, and say, okay, wrinkle around eyes. All right, good. So images come up. Very, very, very important. That is something that if I was to have a notepad, I would say, okay, Images, right? And I'll just go ahead and do this on a notepad so we could recap later. So I would say images are coming up. Uh, that's a very important thing. So what I would do is I would start gathering a lot of pictures of wrinkly eyes. Um, next, what I would do is I would see who is coming up. So EliteSerum.com, um, we have best price on Elite Serum. This is probably, yeah, this is the official site. You could tell because of the phone number. An affiliate would not put the phone number unless it's their own phone number. Okay, so we have Elite Serum there, uh, which means this dude is competing with you uh, pretty big time. Not a good sign um, for going for this stuff, but I'll show you a workaround for that. Okay, we got Hydroxytone, Rock Care, Neutrogena, uh, L'Oreal, Remove Wrinkles. Okay, we got YouTube, that's good to know, and this one's been up almost a year. Definitely good to know, so we have 30,000 um, on here, so I would I would put under the images, I would put YouTube, okay, all right, so I'd put YouTube there, and I'd probably put the keyword as well, and say, okay, these are all things, and what I'm doing is I'm basically building a file, and this file is going to take it later and say, okay, all these things that I just found out are things that I want to use um, to, to get this stuff, right, to, to get these people into my site. Okay, and these so far we're looking at free stuff other than this paid over here. We got images, we got uh, get rid of wrinkles under under eyes. We have WikiHow. Now on WikiHow, what you're going to notice is Google AdSense. Okay, skin skincaresearch.com. Okay, good to know. This is a Google AdSense ad. Okay, and I want you to take a look at what's showing up here. Right, like how to prevent wrinkles, how to prevent wrinkles naturally. And what's happening is when people search for this kind of thing, like if I was to type in wrinkles or get rid of wrinkles, right, they are kind of just browsing, looking for information. Okay, they're not necessarily looking to buy anything, they're looking for information. Now, what our goal is, is to get them in, give them information that points to the product. Right, so like everything we do has got to like point them to. Um, the product. Okay, so we look at it, we say, okay, we got ads here. Okay, so we'd write down AdSense. So we got images, YouTube, AdSense. Okay, um, and okay, good, good, good. He's got some more here, some more here, some more uh, YouTube here, and you can just check him out. And um, you can watch this on YouTube, and it'll show you what kind of views he has. And yes, it has a ton of views. Um, very good. So it's got a lot of views there. And let's see, Home Remedies site, okay, good, good, good. Okay, so got a lot of stuff uh, YouTube we would look at as well because that video obviously is getting a lot of traffic, probably a lot of it from uh, this type of stuff here, okay? Um, so those are what we would do first and foremost is look at what is showing up on the main the main kind of keywords, okay? Um, so what we would want to do is we want to take a look at our main keywords and be like, okay, wrinkles around eyes. Okay, let's see what our searches are. Uh, teratonin cream. Let's see if this has anything to do with it. Okay. Okay, google.com. And we'll see teratonin cream. Okay, topical side effects. Okay, teratonin. Okay, what does it do? Treat acne. Okay, so that's probably not... Okay, uh, once the treatment, one of the treatments is used to treat fine wrinkles. Okay, so it is used for wrinkles. 
uh, which is which is good. So I would write down you know teratonin cream also uh, because you could see that this one is fairly uh, non-competitive. I mean you're not dealing with much comp uh, competition at all, right? So what I would want to do is I'd want to write that down, and I probably write it at the bottom of the page: teratonin, okay, cream or whatever. Okay, and we can see that teratonin cream. Uh, basically has uh, very low competition, even though it says medium. It's got a lot of searches, so you're dealing with a thousand searches a day there, which is really cool. Okay, so what I would do in this instance is I would probably bag this word, right? And I'd say, okay, teratonin cream, good. Let's see what the competition is on free search. 1.4 million on uh, the other search, so we got 364. Okay, a lot of creams here, so it looks like they're kind of going this way. Okay, YouTube. Okay, and one thing that I want you to notice is there is a myth about the my customer thing, right? There's like this whole myth going on that it's like, okay, this person only buys the teratonin cream and that's it. That's all they're going to buy the rest of their life, which is not exactly true. What these people are looking for, first and foremost, is how to get rid of these wrinkles. Okay, our goal is to sell them whatever. If they find out that buying a new flat screen TV gets their wrinkles gone and they want to buy it, then that's what we're going to sell. Okay, so we don't want to like force anything. We want to kind of look at it and say, okay, well, can I break even or, or make a little bit or build a list on all these people by selling the teratonin and then later flip them to another product? Right? Does that make sense? I hope it does. If it does, just type something in the box and let me know. Um, so basically, you're having all these things coming in, right? So it's it's kind of like um, if my goal was to sell uh, expensive cars, right? And my goal is to sell these expensive cars, and I'm like, okay, well, let's first sell uh, parts to people who have crappy cars. And we're like, oh, hey, buy this engine, buy this tire, buy this whatever, buy this whatever. But all the while, we're setting up to sell the expensive stuff. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. So we have uh, tret tretinone, however you say that cream. Um, we have all kinds of other stuff. Best eye cream. Okay, that's kind of good here. So best eye cream. Now Google, or let's finish this one here. Got a little ADD going. I'm running on like four hours sleep here. Okay, so uh, let's see. We're just going to go to the timeout and check this one. Okay, so 288. So that's a good one. What I would do if I was totally serious about bagging a lot of money in this market is I would write that down and I'd be like, okay, what domain name can I get closest to this, right? And obviously check your trademarks and everything um, on that, but you know most of the time you're okay. So let's see here if we can get uh, name cheap. There we go. Okay, so we'll do teratonin cream or whatever. All right, so we got dot .biz. Um, let's see. We could do like buy. Tretinin cream or whatever. Okay, so buy tretinoincream.com. Um, I would write this down and I would probably purchase it. So as I do this, I usually keep Namecheap open and I just start adding these things to the cart because I can later uh, go back and get them Okay, um, so that's one I'd do. That'd be like, okay, that's one of the funnels that I can use is buy tretinin cream or whatever, and I could set up a page about does tretinin cream work, danger about tretinin cream, uh, what are the side effects of tretinin cream or whatever, and I set this up and say put your name and email. I'll show you the side effects. I'll show you things that are good. We'll show you some live examples of how it works. And we're going to show you the best prices to get the prices. Okay, they come into your list. Now you've got a list about these people looking for this other cream that you can back into uh, the other stuff as well. Okay, is this starting to make sense to you? If it is, type it in the box because I, I have you muted right now. I just want to make sure I'm not going too fast here. Okay, you still with me? All right, good. There we go. Okay, cool. All right, so um, that would be our first our first funnel is the tretinin cream. Okay, and this is how you like completely dominate a market when you do it right. You, you look at your images, your YouTube, your AdSense. Now, the AdSense and everything like that. Um, I want you to notice also on the flip side, we're going to get paid a portion of how much this stuff costs. Okay, we're going to get a page 
or we're going to get a, a portion. So if I go and I go to a low competition uh, keyword, right, and a low competition keyword is something like uh, age spots or maybe um, signs of aging, right? If we were to go to the AdWords tool, okay, and again, your funnel, your, your, your goal first and foremost is to get lots of people in and give them what they want. Um, and you know you might find out that there's other products you can give them as well, like we found out with the cream and and things like that. So we could go in, and we could say, okay, well, what do people look at for aging, right? We could look at aging like this. Hit get ideas, and again, just toggle back and forth. Like you'll notice, I have all kinds of things open here. This is how I do my research. Um, so we would do, okay, uh, let's see, aging. Okay, we can go here and we could say, okay, aging, low competition, uh, agency, healthy aging, area, department of aging. Okay, let's do average searches, get these guys up here, retirement age, menopause, and let's see, anti-aging, um, senior aging. Okay, let's see if we have something else here. Let's do something like... Um, about something like bags under eyes and notice how I'm just kind of like looking at all the things that this can help because Botox and all these kind of things do help with uh, bags under eyes so we got like uh, crow's feet good one excellent one that's something that uh, basically is a wrinkle around the eye okay so crow's feet look at that very little competition here okay how to get rid of crow's feet uh, get rid of crow's feet, crow's feet, crow's feet, crow's feet. Okay, good. So we would go in and say, good, this has got, uh, what was it, crow's feet, 6,600 a month. That's pretty darn good there. I'll take that. Um, so I would put that in there as well as the cream. I'd go to my uh, my uh, name cheap and I'd put crow's feet in and we'd try to get as close as possible to this word. Crow's feet .org. dude. Okay. <laughs> I think I'm going to buy that. Uh, but yeah, get that. Good one. I'm, I'm going to let you have that one even though I want to buy it right now. Um, so go get that before I do. Otherwise, you'll make me mad. Um, but yeah, you get crowsfeet.org, and now you have a site about how to get rid of crow's feet. You go through it. Uh, you make it happen. Everything like that. Okay? Yes, crow's feet is addressed on the sales page. What we're doing is we're building around your sales page. We're building around it. So we're making all these different things, right? We don't want to just take the crow's feet guy and, and put him to uh, crow's feet stuff, right? We actually want to take the crow's feet and make a mailing list about crow's feet. Okay, does that make sense? I hope it does. Let me know if it makes sense. Okay, cool. Um, let's see here. Do, 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 do. Bear with me one second. Okay, so um, any questions so far? I'll unmute you to see where we're at in the process. Did, are you starting to get everything? Yeah, I'm starting to get it. So the crows, crowsfeet.org would be another funnel? Exactly. So okay. crowsfeet, uh, whatever you can get, um, you know, check it out, see if they are around, and uh, take it from there. But yeah, crowsfeet would be another funnel. Now, the way you're going to set these up, is you are literally going to bid on these words, okay? You're going to bid on these words, and you are going to go through, and you are going to set something up. So now, for you, it might be better. Let's take this a step further. Uh, let's see. Name cheap. So when you say bid on these words, you're talking about ad words? Yeah, so like watch. If we go in here and we say, okay, crow's feet. Crow's feet are people who want what you have, right? They want your product. That's 
plain and simple. That's what they want. So we're going to go to uh, AdWords tool. And you might want to find something actually that's a little easier to rank for because Crow's Feet is a two-word domain. And obviously, you're going to be competing with some serious stuff. But if you were to do something like get rid of Crow's Feet, let's see if that's available. Okay, um, crow's feet, crow's feet cream. Okay, let's see. That's not a whole lot of searches on the main one. All right, let's take. Um, closely related. Okay, so for crow's feet here, best eye cream for crow's feet. Crow's feet eyes, crow's feet treatment, crow's feet cream. If you could get something like crowsfeetcream.com, that might even be better. Yeah, crowsfeetcream.org, right? If you get that, you're now having a site, and you can set it up like a little blog, and you're making a little blog about crow's feet. Okay, and I'll put this in the box so you can go buy it. Um, and your idea here is to make a blog about crow's feet. So you take, you take the face and you say, okay, my idea here is to take the, all these things, like it helps crow's feet. It's the same as the teratonin cream. Um, you know, all these things, and you're using them as funnels. So you would, in essence, have something like, um, like let's say, 7dayblogprofits.com, okay? Uh, let's see. I know on one of my things it doesn't work. Uh, let's do another one. Uh, instantwebhosting.org. Okay, so your page would be all about the cream. It would be like, okay, uh, teratonin cream or crow's feet treatment. Learn how to get rid of crow's feet fast. Does treatment work? Best treatments? Buy my favorite treatment or buy here or order now um, information. Okay? And you're going to build this site out with information about crow's feet. You could do video. You could do text. I definitely, definitely recommend both and images. Okay? So you go out there and you say, okay, here's these things that work for crow's feet. You want to get rid of crow's feet? You know, and, and give them good info. Be like, hey, guys, welcome to whatevercrowsfeet.com. Today in this video, I'm going to show you the top 10 ways to get rid of crow's feet. Number one, uh, what you want to do is, you know, put cucumbers on your eyes or whatever, right? I'm making it up. Number two, drink less soda. Number three, don't eat pie after 12 o'clock, whatever. And you give them these tips and then you say, hey, we're on tip number four. If you want a printable, um, a printable list of all the things you can do to get rid of crow's feet, Right now, put your name and email in the box, and I'm going to send it to you instantly. And we're also going to show you where to get the best thing and overnight it so that you can get the crow's feet gone for your next party or whatever. Right? Does that make sense? So you got the info. You're getting them in. Crow's feet, uh, whatever it was, what was it? Uh, crowsfeetcream.org is your funnel. Okay, and you're like, hey, here's all the creams. Here's all the stuff. Now, um, you, you make it like an opt-in. Okay, so you're going to make it like an opt-in, like blogprofitnetwork.com, video, information, opt-in, video, opt-in. Okay, they're going to opt-in, and now you're like, pshoom, every day, there's people coming in, entering their email to get your report. Okay, now the way you get them to the site is you can do free traffic, you're going to do video traffic, you're going to do article traffic, you're going to do uh, pay-per-click traffic, right? You just drive them from the word crow's feet on MSN, on Google, whatever, right? And you go here, and it's like, choom, you can be up instantly, crow's feet, bam. And instantly, you are now in front of them, besteyecreams.org. You're competing with one guy. I mean, it's just, choom, there you go. You're getting traffic for 10 cents. Give them good info. Get them to opt in. Then say, hey, bam, choom, go for the hard sell at, on the thank you page. Okay? Does that make sense? I hope it does, because this stuff's like gold. Um, okay, so again, there you go. There's crow's feet. Next, you would say, okay, what else do we have for low competition? Okay, high competition. Let's go low. Remedy for bags under eyes. Okay, let's get... Okay, cucumbers on eyes. Cool. I like it. Just looking for the same thing, right? Cucumbers on eyes. Does it help? Does it work? Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so we'd go here. We'd go cucumbers on eyes, right? 
nothing. Do cucumbers really help puffy eyes? Same thing. That's what they want. And you make a site, and it would be called cucumbersoneyes.com. Cucumbersoneyes.org. There you go. All right? So you got that. There's another one. Okay, this one says, hey, guys, here's all the information about cucumbers. Yes, they do work, but it's a short-time thing. If you want something more long-term, check out this other thing and go buy it now. Does that make sense? Okay. Um, and now you're getting all these people in at like 10 cents a click or less, and you got AdSense on the site, you got information on the site, you got everything good, where they're all coming into your funnel, right? Can you visualize that? Where it's like, okay, I got my cucumbers on eyes. That's putting 50 people a day into my opt-in list. I got crow's feet cream that's putting 25 people a day into my opt-in list. Now I got 55 people coming into my opt-in list, all interested. I can send them emails whenever I want about how to make their wrinkly face go away. I got the teratonin cream or whatever it is bringing me um, a couple of sales a day and a bunch of opt-ins. And so it's like a big monster that just grows, and your goal is to sell this stuff, get paid on AdSense. Um, and with these things, right, with these things, when you're bidding 10 cents, I mean – you're going to make it up on AdSense, right? Because now what you're going to do is you're going to start to take all these 10 cent guys and then you're going to branch them out to other stuff using uh, the monetize plugin, right? So what I do on my site, okay, I have my site here and I look at blog stuff and I get blog traffic fairly cheap or I can get it from banner ads, I can get it from forums, I can get it through solo ads, anywhere. I'm driving people here, okay? Now, instead of just putting AdSense right here, what I do is I put things I know people will click, right? Because AdSense is going to get like 10 to 30 percent click-through rate. Okay, mine get a lot more. These ads get a lot more click-through rate because we're focusing on what they want, and I know why they got here in the first place. Okay, AdSense is just taking a guess. Okay, so I say get fast search engine rankings. Okay, and this goes to a site. Oh, let's see. I think I have it. Okay, I think I actually have to click it the way that the thing works. I don't think we can do open in a new tab. Okay, and this goes to an SEO ranking tips report. Okay, so now I just took that dirt cheap traffic that I got, put them to a site that's about a solution that they want, right? They want SEO stuff. But now I'm getting, you know, eight, nine dollar clicks. Okay, does that make sense? Because we're taking them from, you know, how do I remove and do these cucumbers work to you know, uh, Botox is a scam.com or whatever. Botox, does Botox work.com, right? And now you're triggering Botox ads. Okay, so that's all part of your funnel to make the money to, you know, funnel this whole thing of, of getting the clicks. And you'll be able to break even uh, fairly easily in this. Okay, well, I'm going to unmute you. I want you to kind of recap and, and make sure you understand all this. So you're, ta you're taking them um, from side to side through their clicking? Yes, like I'm, I'm setting up with these what they want. So the things on the right-hand side of the page mm -hmm. is the things they want. Yes, and you want to write news type. So it would be um, these people are obviously have heard of Botox. They're thinking about Botox, but whatever, or, or whatever. It doesn't have to be Botox. It could be anything. Right, And your goal is to say, does Botox work? Uh, visit my site to find the truth about Botox. Bam, they click it. They're instantly seeing expensive ads. So the hope is that they'll click on the AdSense? Yeah, it's one of them, yeah. Because okay, right. yeah, Cucumber is broad, so you'll be able to get people to opt in for the report. And then as they go deeper, you want to make money because you're going to have probably, I'm going to say, 75% of the people on your list and that visit your site are not going to buy your product. So what I'm showing you to do is make a ton of money off of them and sell your product supplementary. Does it make sense? So you're making money off of them through uh, AdSense? Exactly. You'd be like a guy who um, you have these people and they want to buy one of five products. And you're like, do you want to buy this product? No. And they go to the other four guys and they buy something. What I'm teaching you to do is be like, okay, do you want to buy this product? No. Okay, great. Buy the other four through me. 
Okay. Right? Because that's, I mean, that's the way it works because they're going to buy it anyway. My customers buy hosting. They buy AWeber. They buy all this stuff anyway. Right? So the goal is to say how much of it can I keep by being the cool guy who's saying, hey, check it out. Here's a tip about, you know, not making your eyes wrinkly. So you're offering them on, on the site mm -hmm. three or four other products that they can click on and buy. Not necessarily on no. the site. Okay. So, okay. right. so let me let me see if I could visualize okay. it for you. So you got your wrinkle cream or your uh, mm -hmm. your cucumbers, okay? Mm -hmm. And you're like, okay, these people want to know if cucumbers work on their eyes. They probably don't want to buy a cucumber online. They probably don't want to buy a cream right now. They're looking for information on do cucumbers work. Could be someone going out on a date and they're like, my eyes look like crap. What if I throw cucumbers <laughs> on them? Um, and funny thing, it actually does work, right? Um, and so, yeah, it does. It's weird. It's like five minutes later and you're like five years younger. Um, and it helps headaches too. But at any rate, you make a site about the benefits of cucumbers. And your goal is to just give them killer info, right? And you're like, shoom, here's how this works. Here's how the cucumber thing works, blah, 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 blah. Put your name and email to get my cucumber report. Plus, learn 87 other fruits that are going to help your face. Right, or three other fruits, or whatever. Okay, and you go find this info. It's not hard. I mean, you can have this thing set up in a day or two if you have an outsourcer even quicker than that. Um, and you're like, okay, your goal is to just teach these people cucumbers and fruits and, and putting things on their eyes and whatever benefits, pitfalls, good things, bad things, short term, long term. But your goal ultimately is to get them one, to opt in, and two, Teach them that the cucumber is not as good as what you're offering. So, so Marcus, you're teaching them on the on the website, or you're teaching them through the emails that are received because they opt in. Both. Or both. Both. Uh -huh. okay. Yep. And if you look at how mine's structured, I got pages across the top that are based on what they want, right? And all these pages have the opt in. Right, all these pages, with the exception of like contact us, right? So all of them have yeah. this opt-in, okay? But later, right. I'm creating all this content with all these posts and stuff uh, that basically is taking them and giving them cool stuff. So now I'm repurposing this. I'm like, hey, thanks for joining. Now I got all this cool stuff to send you, and you can automate it, right? It could be like day number one, here's the cucumber report. Day number two, uh, the strawberry report. Day number three, you know, drinking water all day or whatever. Okay, um, so that's that's that part, and I'm going to meet you again, and we'll go go through this. So so that's the basic funnel is to get them to opt in, and get them into something else. Okay, so crow's feet is a great example of that. Um, you want to write or have your outsourcer write in a way that is what they're looking for. Ten ways to get rid of crow's feet. Best creams for crow's feet, right? And you can even you could even uh, hire someone to try out different creams or whatever. Um, just make sure you disclaimer it, and with health stuff, always disclaimer the heck out of it, and don't ever tell them to use anything, and tell them always talk to their doctor before they even wake up in the morning. Um, but yeah, you would just teach them things like that. And then again, you just go through all of it, right? Wrinkles, um, uh, let's see, kojic acid, I guess that's probably something for wrinkles. Search it out, see what's going on there. Um, Revitol looks like something for uh, wrinkles as well. Uh, Revitol beauty stuff. Okay, does Revitol work? Um, Revitol scar cream, right? And just start to look this stuff like, okay, here's eBay for Revitol. Like you could literally uh, go on here and make a report about Revitol or sell Revitol and build the list and sell them other stuff. Because right? these guys are basically just building customers. Okay, that's a little farther down the line. Um, but I hope you get the point because everything you do is part of a funnel. Everything you do, uh, Amazon, you could set up an Amazon and sell your product or the Revitol or whatever with the hopes of building this list. You can make a, uh, little ebook on the 10 ways to get rid of wrinkles, right? And you give it away or charge 90 cents for it on Amazon or whatever. And this is your funnel, right? They're coming in and you're giving them the book. Everyone's reading the book. Everyone's uh, you know, going to AdSense or going to other products, you're making money, you're doing good, and also you're selling your other product, right, and with the residual. Now, another thing, check this out, uh, prweb.com 
is showing up. You could do press releases about, uh, you know, make a press release about uh, senior citizens and how, uh, you know, 10,000 people are retiring every day and they're wrinkly and they need your product to help them, right? Get them into the funnel. Um, or uh, something like crow's feet, uh, what was it? Cucumbersoneyes.org uh, releases free report about removing or using cucumbers to get rid of wrinkles, right? So your goal is just get them in there. You want everyone who ever thinks, breathes, or looks at a wrinkle to come to you, right? And that's what you do with all these funnels is you're getting them in. You build your opt-in page uh, like, like these guys where it's like chum, email, right? And the same thing that I'm doing here. I do with little ads. Um, now you're going to see how this works here. Basically what I'm doing is I'm like, okay, I want everyone who thinks about internet marketing stuff to come to me. Okay. People are thinking about video. Learn Marcus's secret video marketing tips plus see how he gets rankings. Opt in. After they opt in, I either take them to the free report or a blog page. Okay. They're on the blog, they click this other stuff, or they order a product, okay? So that's how the funnel works. Uh, another example would be uh, squeeze pages. Learn Marcus's secret to turning. It's basically the same exact thing. They're just going different places, getting different things in the funnel. Here's one for SEO ranking tips, right? Same exact thing, just a different uh, funnel. Um, we got pay-per-click. I think I have one somewhere. AdWords, right? Get my secret AdWords tips, right? And you just put a different picture and be like, after cucumbers, get my free, uh, special cucumber report, okay? And you could do this on press release. You're going to get tons of traffic, uh, AdSense profit tips. But the key is not to fight it. Like the tendency is to be like, okay, well, I'm going to bid on wrinkles on eyes. I'm going to send them to the landing page of the offer through my affiliate link and really hope and pray and get a little prayer closet and pray that people order. Right? It's not going to work that way. So what you got to do is you got to come at it, and each of these pages is like a little uh, salesman that's out there all day, every day, saying, "Hey, dude, you you got to check out Marcus's reports and his content and stuff. You have to. It's awesome, right? And it's like whether you're into AdSense, and then people start to see it everywhere, right? Because these people are going to start to follow you. They're going to be like, "Oh man, last night I was searching for wrinkles, and I saw this cucumber site, and now today I was searching for some serum and." I saw this wrinkle site, and this wrinkle site's everywhere. He must know what's going on. He must know something. So I better opt in or buy his stuff or whatever, right? So it's like they're seeing you everywhere. Um, and that's why the front of like AdSense, um, MSN. But what I would do is here's what I want you to do, and this will be your homework. I want you to set up this funnel for crow's feet, okay? I want you to get that domain. I think it was crowsfeetsomething.org. Uh, crowsfeetcream.org, okay? I want you to set this up. I want you to get a video. I want you to get some content, and I want you to say, if you want to learn about crow's feet, I'm the guy. Here's the top things you're going to learn about crow's feet creams. Do cucumbers really work? What happens if this? You know, answer their questions. Just completely answer all the questions. Do some research. Uh, learn what these people are doing. Is there a crow's feet forum? Is it women? Is it men? What is it? Right and and focus on helping them, and as you help them, um, work on selling your product on the thank you page. Okay, so hey guys, thanks. By the way, your report is being emailed to you. While you're waiting for your report, why don't you save some time and check out the number one product that I've found about removing crow's feet? It's made of all natural stuff. Blah 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 blah. Click here, affiliate link, to check it out. Okay, and then on the side you could have links like. Um, like these guys using monetize that go to other things uh, as well. Does that make sense? I'll unmute you. Uh, Marcus, it, it makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yes, it does. Mm -hmm. I, I've never done this this way. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've always just put up a basic website. And I guess, as you said, pray that people would uh, buy the product. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so now is this something, because this is kind of something that I need you to just go do. Like even sure. if you hack it up and screw it up and you got, you know, stupid stuff on your site, I need to see that because that's better than having nothing. Um, and so, yeah, if you can set up that whole idea of just the crow's feet one, 
right? Just master the crow's feet one, and we'll start to get some traffic because now, if you can convert one out of a hundred, you're paying ten bucks to get a thirty dollar commission, All right? Because your crow's feet's a much cheaper market, and out of all those other people, right? You now got a hundred people for ten bucks. Now you can go and you know get them to click AdSense. You can get them to uh, mailing list. You can sell them other products. You can even sell them again on the product. Hey, you, you know, I noticed you didn't buy this yesterday. Go buy it because you got wrinkly eyes or whatever. So, so the crow's feet. Mm-hmm. Uh, so crow's feet side would be just a uh, one page. No, it's going to be, uh, I, I would do like a three-page blog, maybe five, and, right. then, and then your posts will be all this stuff. So you're going to go, and you're going to start to do posts about crow's feet eyes, crow's feet treatment, crow's feet cream, crow's feet tool, oh, okay. all right. right, everything. Okay. Mm-hmm. okay, that's basically how I set up other, other websites, okay. Exactly. And then there will be, be an opt-in form, right? On, on the five pages, there will be an opt-in form. On the posts, you will have oh. uh, the, the monetized plugin. So the opt-in is on the pages only. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And the pages are across the top? Correct. Like, like yours? Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, just asking because so many different people said set these blogs up differently. <laughs> yeah, the way that I do it is is uh, it's a different way because I focus on information as to where a lot of other people are focusing on like, oh, you know, how do we sell? How do we make a squeeze page that works? How do we make this? When in actuality, if you just make a squeeze page, you're not going to be able to run it everywhere and you're going to lose half your audience. Okay. So we want to get them engaged. The key is engage them, get them to read. Um, you know, and, and next time you search a topic, like if you're up and you're like, hey, I want to learn how to you know, get rid of foot pain or whatever, notice how you search because you don't just look at one site. And if you do just look at one site, you go deep on a site and you're like, oh, I wonder what he says about this or I wonder what he says about this. And you're, you're engaging. So the key is to get them to engage. Okay, uh, so when you set up a site, mm-hmm. I, I've been taught several different ways by different different people. But do you do you establish uh, a page as a static page? Well, the page is kind when, of our static. When, in other words, when you go when you go into WordPress mm-hmm. in one of the set general or general setting or something, there's a place where you can set the. Uh, the home page is static or is it just a home page? Watch this one. Or a post. I'm going to send you this video here. I think this is the one. Yeah. Watch this video here. I'll put, okay. it, I'll put it in your chat box. It just I'd like build one in front of you, so it'd be a lot easier okay. just to watch that and see how it works. Okay. I'll do that. Cool. Yeah, and just set it up that way. Um, if you outsource the content, I would definitely recommend it because, I mean, you're not going to want to write for all of these blogs. And just be very specific with your outsourcer that you want a report on the top 10 ways cucumbers help eyes. Don't just say, I want to report on cucumbers and eyes, because then sure, you'll get sure. one like, so, yeah. So, so the crow's feet side would have, would have information about cucumbers and other kinds of things to get rid of crow's feet? Exactly. Okay. All right. Yep. Yep. Earlier, we were talking about a cucumber side being another funnel. It is, because of the mailing list. But that would be later on. Um, Well, no, you're going to make it the funnel now. Your goal is to get them to opt in for the info you're going to give them. On the crow's feet side? Correct. But the cucumber, we're talking about cucumber side, would be a different funnel and different site, right? Exactly, yeah. You're going to get, and and I would would buy them both now, cucumbers on eyes.org and... Uh, crow's feet screams.com okay. or whatever it is um, I would definitely get those now and then just start you put a blog on it get some content on it and you're going to do the same exact kind of thing where it's it's just like those pages I showed you those gray pages where it's like chum, come in here get this come in here get this but ultimately these people want the same exact thing right they want their eyes to look good right they want 
And that's it. And I don't, I don't care how they want it. If they think getting on their knees and eating grass is going to help them, fine, come on in. I'm going to tell you how that sucks and you need my product, right? Um, if they think, you know, living at high elevations, great, great, come on in. We're going to teach you how to do it, and then we're going to give you our product. Okay. Well, my, my, experience, my experience tells me that it's probably going to take me the way I work and the way I do things meticulously, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Probably take me a week to get that one site kind of set up. Okay, and that's fine. Right. They, they may sound long for you, but mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I, I, I'm the opposite. I'm the guy that, that it takes me a week to sit down and do it, and then 30 minutes to actually do it. So. Yeah, I <laughs> um, well, part, part of that week is going to be doing the research and planning and deciding on what to put on put on the site and content and everything like that. Yep, and remember, if they not... if they don't buy your product. You're either selling it wrong or you need a different product. Like, don't be married to the product just because. That, that is the number one killer of businesses. Uh, if you ever watch Shark Tank, right, there's people that just bankrupt their family because they're just married to one product. And it's like, right. well, people don't want it. Sorry, they just don't right. care about it. Um, and with you, you know, if you find out that they want to buy a jet airplane, sell jet airplanes, I don't care. I mean, <laughs> whatever they want is, is what we're going to sell as long as it's ethical and and fits our values and everything, but, uh, yeah. So at this point, mm -hmm. I believe I should just go do it. Yes, just go do I it. Don't, I, don't, I don't see any point in us continuing on the webinar because uh, I think I just need to go do some research, get some content, put it up, and then get back with you at, at a later date. Is that right? Exactly. And I'm going to go ahead. Um, I'm going to put this replay up for everyone if you're okay with it. I mean, there's no fancy right. trade secrets or anything like that. Um, and then if you want, what we'll do is we'll follow along and we'll follow up with you and kind of just okay. watch how it goes and uh, things like that um, just to kind of help everyone. But yeah, you know, that's the idea. So go do that. And then what I'm going to do is um, anyone else who's listening to this on my blog, if you guys enjoyed this stuff, um, if you have a product or don't have a product, either way it doesn't matter because I can help you find a product or a niche. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a link below this video. And if you want me to completely set up your funnel, like the shell of your funnel with your sites and the domains and the ideas and the markets and the money and everything, just like I did uh, with Larry, uh, click that link below. Um, we do have some of them available, and um, they're reasonably priced, obviously, because I want to help you guys get this going. Uh, but this is the way to build a sustainable business because what's going to happen is Larry's going to get people that are interested in cucumber eyes and people that are interested in serums and people who are interested in all this stuff. And once he has a database and sites that get traffic daily, it's all, it's all over, right? Once you own that, uh, you now have a, an income that's coming in all the time, and it's building, and it's building, and it's building. And no matter what you do, it's just going to keep getting bigger unless you, like, turn it off, which I don't advise. But at any rate, click that link below. Um, I'll have a webinar with you. We'll pick you a niche. We'll get you some traffic sources. We'll show you exactly how to build a marketing funnel that will put money in your pocket for 2014. So thanks again, Larry, for being on this. Uh, I look forward to watching your progress in this market. Uh, I think it's a slam dunk. So have fun with it, and I will see you on live chat and in the next webinar. And for those that are listening, again, if you enjoyed this, hit me up on live chat if you have questions. Or if you're ready to have me make your funnel of profits, click that link below, and I'll see you in the next video.